इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स का एक ऐसा डाउट जिसको सही तरीके से समझना काफ़ी मुश्किल है उसको आज आपको समझाने की पूरी कोशिश करूँगा ये एक यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज स्फेरिकल शेल है स्फेरिकल शेल हॉलोस्फीयर इसके सरफेस पे चार्ज यूनिफॉर्मली स्प्रेड है चार्ज पर यूनिट एरिया सिग्मा है सिग्मा इज दी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी हम सभी ये जानते हैं इस शेल के जस्ट बाहर किसी पॉइंट पे यहाँ जो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड है उसकी वैल्यू वन बाई फोर बाई एप्सिल नॉट क्यू बाई आर स्क्वायर के इक्वल होती है वन बाई फोर पाई एप्सिल नॉट क्यू बाई आर स्क्वायर इसको अगर हम सिग्मा के टर्म्स में लिखें दैट मीन सिंपली क्यू को हम सिग्मा इंटू फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर लिख दें सिग्मा इंटू एरिया लिख दें तो ये एक्सप्रेशन सिग्मा बाई एप्सिल नॉट बन जाता है तो इस यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज स्फेरिकल शेल के ठीक बाहर ठीक बाहर जस्ट आउटसाइड पॉइंट पे फील्ड सिग्मा बाय एप्सिल नॉट है ठीक ये अच्छी बात है ये सभी जानते हैं इसके ठीक अंदर ठीक अंदर सरफेस के ठीक नीचे फील्ड जीरो है ये भी सभी जानते हैं एक सरफेस सरफेस के ठीक नीचे फील्ड जीरो है और इसके ठीक बाहर फील्ड नॉन जीरो है सिग्मा बाय एप्सिल नॉट दैट दैट मींस यहां पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डिसकंटिन्यूस है इट्स नॉट कंटिन्यूस अगर हम सेंटर से आगे की तरफ जा रहे हैं बढ़ते जा रहे हैं यहां फील्ड जीरो है एंड ऑल ऑफ ए सडन फील्ड बिकम्स सिग्मा बाय एप्सिल नॉट दैट मीन्स वेन योर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सेंटर दिस डिस्टेंस एक्स इज अप्रोचिंग आर फ्रॉम दिस साइड फील्ड इज जीरो एंड वेन दिस एक्स इज अप्रोचिंग आर फ्रॉम दैट साइड फील्ड इज सिग्मा बाय एप्सिल नॉट सो ऑब्वियसली देर इज ए डिसकंटिन्यूटी एंड वेन देर इज अ डिसकंटिन्यूटी देर इज नो मीनिंग देर इज एब्सोल्यूटली नो मीनिंग ऑफ पुटिंग एन एफर्ट ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एक्सैक्टली ऑन दी सर्फेस इट इज सेंसलेस मीनिंगलेस जस्ट बिनीथ दी सर्फेस जीरो just outside the surface sigma by epsilon not exactly what is field on surface if you keep on asking me i do not have any answer because the function is the electric field as a function of distance from the center is discontinuous there but of course we can always calculate electric field at a point that is just outside the surface and electric field at a point that is just inside the surface we already know the answers inside it is zero and outside it is sigma by epsilon not but the problem arises if you try to establish this expression by way of integration by selecting different ring elements on this spherical shell if you try to write the electric field at a point which is just outside the surface the integration does not yield this result yes you have heard it correctly the integration will not give you this result the integration will give you a slightly different result how and why this is what we are going to explore in this video first let me tell you how exactly we will perform this integration in order to calculate electric field at a point that is just outside this shell so this is our charge shell and this is a point yellow dot i hope it is visible there is a point where i wish to calculate the electric field due to this charge shell and in order to calculate this field in order to calculate this field i select this kind of ring element uh, if i may call it so this is a vertical diameter let me call it so and from the with respect to the vertical diameter at an angular position theta i select a ring element having angular width d theta that means from here from this diameter at an angle theta you take a slice increase the angle by d theta take another slice between those two slices you have your ring element ring element means i am thinking of this blue colored ring only 
this is a ring charge and on the axis of this ring charge here is our concern point let me call it P where I wish to find the electric field. So, first we will write the electric field at P because of this chosen ring element and then we will integrate so as to take contribution of each and every ring element on this sphere. The expression can be written like this. Let me explain it to you if you do not know. Um, if you have a ring, if you have a ring having total charge Q uniformly spread on its circumference, its radius let us say is a small r and on the axis of the ring at a distance x from its center here, the equation of electric field is k that means 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q x by r square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2. Hopefully you all know this formula. So, this is what I have used here in order to write electric field at this yellow point because of this ring charge. Now, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught it is as it is charge on the ring element. How do I write charge on this blue colored ring? The area of the ring multiplied with sigma. How do I get the area of the ring? The circumference of the ring multiplied by this width which is r d theta. How do I get circumference of the ring? Circumference of the ring is 2 pi into r where this r is the radius of this ring. So, obviously this is 2 pi this is capital R radius of the given ball this small r is nothing but r sin theta. So, 2 pi r sin theta this is circumference into width r d theta this is area of the ring into sigma this is charge on the ring right. So, in place of q I have written this and x what is x? x is distance of the concerned point from the center of the ring. I am just trying to write electric field due to ring. So, from the center of the ring distance of this point obviously this distance which I am calling as x is r r minus minus this length which is r sin theta. Obviously, I am assuming that this point is pretty close to the surface and distance of this point from the center of the ball is nothing but r though it is slightly greater than r, but r plus delta delta is very small it is nearly r. So, this distance is r this is r sin theta. So, x will be x will be r minus I am sorry it is not r sin theta it is r cos theta. So, sorry this is r sin theta, this is r cos theta. So, r minus r cos theta in place of x and in denominator again the radius of the ring as I explained is r sin theta and this distance x is nothing but r minus r cos theta. So, whole square raised to the power 3 by 2. You have to perform this integration. Though it looks intimidating it is actually not. The integration is quite simple in fact in the denominator you will get r square sin square theta plus r square cos square theta put it as 1 I mean sin square theta plus cos square theta as 1 and very soon you will see that you do uh, some manipulation in the denominator and you will see that this 1 minus cos theta term will actually get cancelled out. Thereafter uh, you can express your integration in terms of theta by 2 like sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and similarly you will be left with some 1 minus cos theta here uh, write it in terms of theta by 2 and thereafter the integration will take a very simple shape in fact it will become like this sigma by 4 epsilon naught cos theta by 2 d theta 0 to pi. I am not doing all those steps because purpose of this video is not actually to tell you how to calculate this I am assuming that you all know this. Now, if you integrate this it becomes sigma by 2 epsilon naught sin theta by 2 the limit of integration obviously will be from 0 to 0 to pi. So, from 0 to pi when you move from 0 to pi you take this ring you take this ring this ring this ring this ring this ring on all rings contribution from all rings are added. So, the final result if you perform the integration properly will be sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So, this method tells you that electric field at this point is sigma by 2 epsilon naught which we know is incorrect 
just just we were talking that electric field here is actually 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 equal to sigma by epsilon naught just outside the ball but the method of integration tells you something else it tells you that field is actually sigma by 2 epsilon naught so something is wrong something is wrong the first answer sigma by epsilon naught that is absolutely correct it can be obtained using gauss law so something is wrong here only what exactly is wrong this is what we will explore now and this is the purpose of this video Thank you.